Yeah, um, I own a lot of mounts for my iPhone. Hi, uh, welcome to another nerdy video about my gadgets and tech. Um, the last video about uh, iPhone mounts generated this level of uh, interest that I was kind of blown away. Um, <laughs> I, I got a lot of DMs and comments about um, the ones I used and uh, I thought I'd do a deeper dive uh, of the other ones I own and some new ones. Of course, uh, the one I spoke about extensively is this Ulanzi ST04. They don't make this model anymore, but I, I, like I said, I like it because you can turn this knob here and it will just pivot horizontally and vertically easily. And there's enough clearance for this mount so that your phone can still accommodate this um, uh, accessory like a 3.5 to lightning cable adapter for microphones, for example. Um, my other favorite is of course this Moment MagSafe mount. Yeah, let me just demonstrate again. Ta da! Just, just, you know, it works, right? And comes with a cold shoe at the side. If you, if you wish to put it horizontally, you just loosen the knob behind to get the uh, cold shoe mount uh, in a new direction so that you can just, again, easily snap your phone onto the tripod easily. Uh, it's very pricey, this, this particular model, the Moment one, but I use it so much that uh, I decided, yeah, you know, heck, I'll just pay for it. So this is uh, the Moment one I like so much. MagSafe is the wave of the future. Um, this model from Joby, I used long ago, it's an it's a, it's a early model grip tight. It comes flat like this. And I, I got this separate leg from Joby as well. You open up the legs like this, you open up the clamps like this, and they kind of join together to form kind of a mini phone holder. Nice, right? And then your phone can just slip in like that. Easy, right? That's how it works. Um, I liked it for watching videos on the Shinkansen. I liked it for taking videos horizontally sometimes. But uh, I stopped using it because it can't carry heavy phones well because the spring is not strong enough to hold an iPhone 14 Pro Max, that kind of size. And also not great for um, uh, vertical shooting because there's only one mounting point and no cold shoe, right? So uh, I stopped using it. But it was fun while I had it because you just have these two pieces and they go into your jeans and you can whip them out anytime you like. So that's one. Uh, this is from Manfrotto. You see, I like flat models because they're easy to put into the pocket. This model is an early clamp they made. Uh, you turn the two bits here. Sorry, the rubber is coming off. And you unscrew the knob and it open up, right? Pretty neat, the whole thing is made of metal and had a cold shoe on top. So it's all very nice and if you had a phone, lighter phone, it held it pretty well. But I stopped using it for, again, two reasons. Um, only one mounting screw here, so it doesn't do vertical well. Uh, secondly, heavier phones wobbled, it wasn't secure. Partly because of the design, lah, because you know, you see this part here is not it's a bit too straight, it's not slanted in. Uh, I think they corrected it with their latest version, but I stopped using it already because it didn't it did not uh, do vertical video well. So this is an early model Man Manfrotto clamp. Still nice, it was pricey though. Uh, but stop using that. Um what else have I got? Okay, this is the Grip Type Pro from from uh, Joby. Uh, Grip Type Pro 2 actually. For the longest time this was my favorite because it held the phone very securely. You unscrewed the knob here and tightened it, see? Very secure, right? And if you unscrewed it, you can turn it easily, see? Vertical shoot, horizontal shoot. Very, very nice. 
uh, had two additional mounting points here for their arms. Let me show you the arms later on, but you can, you know, uh, screw two uh, flexible arms into the sides for additional accessories, but they already have a cold shoe on the thing. Uh, the only thing I don't like about it, and I stopped using it because it had one flaw. When you want to turn it, you have to unscrew this knob, right? But it's the same knob that controls the clamps as well. So when you loosen this bit, you got to hold on to your phone while you turn. Otherwise, your phone can drop out. Okay? So that's a fatal flaw. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I, I no longer use it as often as I do. I did, but it was a good design. What else have I got? Ah, this one is from Sennheiser. Yes, the, the microphone headphone company. Uh, it comes with the mobile kit that they sell for the MK400 microphone, which I'm using right now to record this video. Uh, this is a Pixie right tabletop tripod and this is their idea of a of a of a phone clamp which i thought was very well implemented it's made of metal very very premium and solid looking uh the the teeth the spring is very strong you can see i'm struggling a little to open it up and you can actually lock and unlock that spring so you can put your phone in like that tighten it and the claw will not move anymore. Secondly, um, it comes with a lever here that allows you to turn. You, you unlock it, and then you can turn. See? And then you lock it, it won't turn. So two separate controls, which I thought very useful. Uh, kind of has more, quite, quite okay to put, just enough to put a lightning uh, adapter below. Yeah, and of course it has a cold, cold shoe on top because they need to ensure that this works with their microphones. Um, the uh, MKE 200 and the MKE 400. Both, both microphones uh, come with this uh, set of uh, this, this, this whole kit here if you buy the mobile edition. And you can use this clamp either with screw-on Heads or um, a regular tripod that supports Aka clamp, Aka Swiss, because there's a mini Aka below. Yeah, there's many, many threaded holes for you to bolt whatever you want onto this uh, body. So, yeah, I, I'm quite fond of this. Well done, Sennheiser, for making something as well made as this. Um, I have two new items to show you. This is um, the uh, Grip Type Pro 3 oh, excuse me. from Joby. So I, I own the version 2 previously. So this is version 3, courtesy of uh, Kete Photo. Thank you for sending me this for review. Um, this is uh, a well-designed uh, sort of upgrade to their Grip Type Pro 2. The version 3 is a bit more plasticky, but I find it very nice. You see the clamp opens with a single press of the top and bottom buttons and then goes in like that. And then the turning is, is fixed the, um, bits, but you normally just need 90%, you know, this vertical and horizontal, so you don't really need to turn anything. It's pretty okay. And there's enough clearance for any accessories below, sticking out of your lightning port. So all in all, a very well designed uh, grip. There is a uh, cold shoe mount on each side, so you can put two devices. And if that's not enough for you, you can add their arms, which are sold separately. This is a very pricey model because, you know, uh, Joby makes this, sells this together with the legs below. So it's about 150 bucks. But uh, if you do a lot of uh, videos and you do it, use it for work, uh, I find the investment worthwhile. It's one of the best made ones so far. I, I only have one concern about this model is that, uh, you can see, 
four accessories now you can mount. Uh, is that the, the, the clamp is it can be a little bit loose, right? I, I find that if you if you don't put it in correctly, your your phone will this is okay, but you ever if you didn't kind of secure it properly, it will it will wobble. But this one is a lighter phone and I put it properly and it didn't wobble. I, I still feel the previous clamp stronger. Yeah, this is Grip Grip Type Pro 2. This is Grip Type Pro 3. But yeah, well done, Joby. Good improvement. I like this. Having two cold shoes, it matters, right? And having a ball joint below that you can adjust some. Yeah, the ball joint here. Again, very nice. Um, one more thing to show you. This is from Joby as well, courtesy of KT also. Uh, thank you. This is a MagSafe uh, mount from Joby. Right? Um, if you want to turn it, <laughs> I activated Siri by mistake. Um, again, yeah, you can turn it easily just like the Grip Type Pro 3. And it doesn't come with any cold shoe um, simply because this model uh, has uh, the ability to grip. A phone that doesn't have MagSafe, you just turn these two bits at the end, 90 degrees, and then you can now grip a phone that doesn't have MagSafe. So that's kind of handy if you want a two-in-one clamp. Uh, it's missing cold shoe. I think they decided there was no way to put a cold shoe safely on the two sides because the two sides are meant to bend. I don't know. I think in theory you can. So it doesn't come with a cold shoe. If you want to add any accessories, you Again, have to use one of their arms, which some people might find unwieldy. Uh, so minus points for this one, no cold shoe. But uh, as a mount, yeah, it, you know, it's, it's pretty okay. You just have to remember uh, that you should not use this um, mount this way. I'll tell you why. Because the two wings, I call them, uh, if if you place them this way, uh, the camera bump will prevent the magnet from sitting flat on the on the phone. So you it will fall off. So you gotta put it this way. Alright? Just something to remember. But yeah, the magnet's pretty strong. Uh, not as strong as uh, my favorite uh, moment one, but still, you know, it's a it's a worthy attempt at uh, creating a MagSafe tripod mount. Yeah. yeah, so I hope that helps. Uh, I hope you enjoy that. I didn't think people would be interested in iPhone mounts, but there you go. <laughs>